Uh, now you have heard from our Sunday School Junior Choir. Now we're going to be hearing from the Sunday School Adult Choir with a selection. Amen. Come on, Adult Sunday School. Oh my God, what are they <laughs> Don't let me down. Come on, Sunday School.
the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Thank the adult choir. I want to know more about my Jesus. Now, all Sunday school adults. Y'all heard that? All Sunday school adults in the class that I teach you are going to tell us what they get from the lesson. They're going to be coming from 1 Colossians chapter 1 all the way to 2 <laughs> Thessalonians chapter 2. Pick one verse from any one of those chapters and come and tell us. Amen? At this time, we're going to have Sister Renee. All right. <laughs> followed by Yay. Sister Gloria, followed by Sister Barbara, followed by Deaconess Johnson, followed by Evangelist Robinson, followed by Sister Hammond, followed by Sister Olivia, followed by Sister Tracy. Good evening, church. Good evening. I didn't pick one verse. I picked eight. Wow! Oh, my goodness. Verses. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 23. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit. Despise not prophesying. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. 23 and last. And the very God of peace sanctify you holy and in pray sorry and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ <coughs> kind of nervous uh, what I got from this is be full of joy, love, peace, and humbleness of spirit always. Feed on God's holy word. Talk to God every chance you get. No matter where we are, we should talk to God because he is always there to listen and answer our prayers. Give thanks no matter what or or. Give thanks no matter what our circumstances Amen. is. Be thankful each and every day for our many blessings. Do not suppress the influence of the Holy Spirit of God in our life. Let the Holy Spirit lead us always. We should teach unbelievers about the gospel of Jesus Christ and about God the Father, teaching unbelievers about the good, good news, sorry, good news of our Lord and Savior. Put nothing else above him or before him. Keep the faith of our Lord within us and remember we are here for a greater purpose which is which is his purpose do good always let not the devil get any leeway in our lives keep on doing things of god be sure whatever be sure whatever thing of god sorry 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 be sure whatever things of god Sorry. Be sure whatever we do, do we do should be pleasing to God. We should serve Him holy. With sorry, serve Him with holiness and truth. And on 
his return, he will say, How good and faithful servant, because you have done this, because you have done his bidding, and you will be blameless unto his coming. That's what I got. Sister Gloria, Sister Barbara, Evangelist Robinson, Sister Jackson, Sister Tracy. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm coming from Thessalonians, Colossians 3, verse 13. Forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any ever a, any ever a Christ, forgive you so so also do we. Have learned from this like it is telling us that we must forgive our brothers and sisters. Don't care what it is, we must forgive. Because Jesus forgive us for what we have done. And if our sin is high as a mountain, he forgive us. Yes. Don't care what we do, he forgive us. Yes. Because we want, at times we want God to forgive us for things what we do, but we does not want to forgive an individual. Right. I was like that. I was like that and I'm asking God, you know, to change me that I can have a forgiving heart. Yes. So, you know, that's why I picked this one because I needed, you know, to forgive. At times people hurt me and they really hurt me. And I tried to forgive, but it is still there. And I get to the understanding of to forgive is to forget. And if we don't forget, we're not going to forgive. And I remember that one of the disciples asked Jesus, you know, how many times should we forgive? And he said 70 times 7. So, you know, I just want, we as Christians must learn to forgive, include myself. And forgive and to forget. That's what I learned. Thank you. Coming from First Thessalonians 5, when I summarize a few uh, <laughs> verses. <laughs> what I got from First Thessalonians 5, it said that we should live according to the will of God. And that we should live our life that pertaining to the word. And as Christians, we all have the nature of Christ in us. And um, lastly, we are in the world, but we are not of the world, this world. We should have the desire to know when to say yes or to say no. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Good evening to everyone, good evening to our pastor. I think everyone likes First Thessalonians chapter 5. So I think I better come. <laughs> Praise the yeah, Lord. Praise That's God. He said, But of the time and the season, brethren, we have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Praise God. And we know that the Lord is coming. We don't know when he's coming, but we know he's coming. People always say, bolt up your doors, bolt up your windows, because a thief is coming. But you don't know when the thief is coming. But you prepare yourself, because you know someone is going to break in your house. And we know that the Lord is coming. And we have to get ourselves ready. Amen. Because when he comes, he's not going to tell you, oh, I'm coming tomorrow. Wait for me. No. He's going to come as a thief in the night. Amen. And if we look at the times, if we look at the season that we're in, if this is not coming up to the end of time, we don't know what is. And also I like verse 24. Faithful is he that calleth you also will do it. You know, uh, Paul was encouraged, the, the Thessalonian brethren, that despite of persecution, despite of tribulation, 
continue in the Lord. Amen. Because he who calls you, he is faithful. Amen. And he warns them also about false teachers. Uh -huh. Praise God. Living in the face of persecution. Amen. There are so many false teachers. But if you come to Bible class and you come to Sunday school, you will know who the false teachers are. Amen. Because if you know the word, then you will know who false teachers are. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. And he encourages believers to live today in such a way that they are mindful of the future. Yeah. Praise God. We know that this is not our future. We know that this is not our home. We are only passing through. Praise God. And the emphasis is not just to live on the events to come, but to the live that he that is faithful, he is faithful also to keep us. All we have to do is to remain faithful. We don't need to read any more papers or listen to any more news. Praise God. We can see the signs of the time are right here on our doorstep. Amen. It's for best for all of us, you know, to give our lives to the Lord and to live in His Word. Praise the Lord and pray to Him daily and ask Him to keep us. Praise God in this trouble.